And now, the moment you all have been waiting for... To the issue crew, the show where we all have issues with our lives and with each other. What? No, no, no. Just keep going. Debbie Gloom, th- fuck you. Does somebody else want to tell him? <laughs> tell me no, what? No, just don't, don't tell him. Don't tell him. Tell me why. Ain't nothing Ain't but nothing a heartache. <laughs> what do you want to tell why. me, Demi Gloom? Nope, don't tell him. Don't no, tell him. nobody don't. tell him. Nobody tell him. He's never, he's never gonna know. Oh, you he guys are playing know. fucking crunker, aren't you? You fucking bitches. No. No, no, that's not what's going on. But now that's that that's you cool. bring it up. Now that you now bring, that you bring it up, it up Liz, I think it's about time to crunk one out. Yeah, I could get behind yeah, it. I agree. What is the bit? What the is bit the bit that you're doing? The bit is that you're a cuck, Riley. The, the bit is that I'm a cuck? Is that the bit? No, yeah. yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, that's the bit. What are you fu- Andrew? What are you fucking doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? What is going on? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? What is this fucking uh, bit worry. that you're doing? What the hell is happening? Don't worry happening? about it. Demi's what do you mean? Got the I'm not doing anything. De- Demi Gloom said, who wants to tell him? And then nobody will tell me. Yeah. I'll huh. tell him, I'll tell him. Riley, Riley, I have something to tell you. What? When I used that bidet today, mm-hmm. it, the water was so cold that I jumped up a little bit and some of it got on the floor. That's really gross. All right, you guys, you people, I hate all of you, actually. <laughs> um, welcome to the Issue Crew, folks. We got a full house here tonight. Let me introduce you to everyone. Uh, first of all, we got Andrew. Hi, it's... um. Hold on, I gotta check my notes. I had this ready, but I forgot it. Did, oh, did you take a female pop star? Ask me later. Ask me later. Ask me later. All right, I'll, I'll ask you. I'll ask you which female pop star you are later. Uh, Demi Gloom. Hey, everybody! It's Demi Gloom. Jason. Hello, everybody. Now, my name is Jellyu, and welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> my name is Jellyu. <laughs> Jellyu. <laughs> Mo Diggity. I'm a banana. Yes, you no. are. No, yes, you are. Uh, Kathy. Kombucha smells like piss and tastes even better. All right. And for the first time, well, I believe he was introduced as a member like four episodes ago, maybe more. Random Candor. Save the best for last, everybody. What's up? It's Random. Hey, we got the full house here tonight. We got Randor. Randor. We got Dumb Can. (laughs) Dumb Can. Predictable Can't Window. You and your dumb nicknames. Kathy nicknamed fucking everyone in the server, and it's the most annoying shit. What did she name me? I don't want to look. She can't can't nickname us, because we have mod powers, but she nicknamed everybody else. So Kathy, what is the predictable can't window? What's the window part? I can assume it's the it's, it's the opposite of your door. name. It's, it, it's a door, so it's the opposite is a window. Ah, uh-huh. ah, oh, I understand. I thought it was because of my lack of attendance. <laughs> All right, uh, Jason, you have some dumb <laughs> shit you want to talk about today. Bro, we're just getting straight into it, not even gonna, like, tickle each other's balls a little bit? <laughs> In what regard? Wait, Jason, I thought that was my job. <laughs> you were actually in love with me. Allegedly. No, it's not even allegedly at this point. Kathy's playing into her own, uh, into the into Kathy, the bit that upset her guys, last time. Guys, let's be real. Would you give your homie a hernia check? Would you grab their balls and ask them to cough for you? Listen, no. if, 
Can't if, say they were, if, they, if they thought they had a hernia and they thought it was a medical issue and they couldn't make it to yeah, a hospital, would you, would you help them? Uh, yeah. This doesn't work okay. for you, Kathy, because you like yeah, yeah. boys. Yeah. Oh, so what? Does well, then it doesn't work, work for, for me, like Jason, or <laughs> Andrew. No, it definitely works for Jason. Yeah, Jason doesn't count. I just want to make sure my friend's in good health. No diggity, if it was possibly life or death, would you give your homie a hernia check? No, I would not. Wow, you'd let wow. him die of hernia? This just in, not only is Mo Diggity a terrible friend. I, I can't tell the difference between, you know, non-hernia and hernia. Like, I, I don't know, like, what I'm looking for, so I'm just grabbing another dude's ball okay, sack. So, so that was grab, fucking weird. Grab your own balls and cough, and then if it doesn't feel like that, they got a hernia. That's true. It's the problem solving skills of Jello. What if he has like yeah. a weak cough? Then I'm just sitting there holding his fucking balls, you know, like till he musters up a manly enough we'll cough. Tell, we'll tell him to get a better cough. Uh, I don't know if coughing works that way. No, no, it does. I'm sure, it does. Motivate him. Trust me, yeah, I'm a cough, him to cough harder. Do yeah. some coaching. Haven't you seen Coach Carter? Yeah, do some do some yeah. cough coaching. Just, uh, just work, work, work on the cadence. I'd do that even if my friend didn't have any hernia problems. <laughs> support, supportive rub. You fucking gay, bro? <laughs> um, I don't like to prescribe to labels. I'm just okay. me. Red, don't you have like a wife? <laughs> no, or just a girlfriend? A wife who? <laughs> your, hey, your kind isn't allowed here on the issue. <laughs> yeah, you're not allowed to be here if you have a wife. That's not how this you works. Just, yeah. You guys paint me with the same brush over and over. I'm my own human being. People with bitches are not allowed on the issue. Wait, isn't Mo Wait, then am I not allowed here? No. Is Kathy yeah. not allowed here? No. Is Andrew no, not allowed no, here? No, Kathy. Mo Diggity hasn't gotten laid since the Stone Kathy Age. doesn't get bitches. Kathy gets scammed into seeing Avatar the way of water. <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy, yeah, should we, give, us should we give them context for that one? <laughs> tell, do you want to yeah. tell the Avatar yeah, tell story? The, tell the story. I went, <laughs> I went on a date with a guy one time, and I was like, we were talking, and then he was just like immediately like, hey, let's go to the movie theater. And I was like, on our first date? I didn't say it out loud, but I went with him anyway. And then there, what do we went there? He didn't have enough money to pay for the ticket. So I just I, I just told him I'd pay for it. And it was a fucking three hour long movie. And then after the movie was over, he just left. And hasn't texted me since, by the way. <laughs> This Wait, man, Kathy, I this need man to understand is... this quickly. Is this a 3D? Is this a 3D? Is this a 3D IMAX movie? It, I, it wasn't like it's 3D. not IMAX. Oh, or IMAX? Did you did you pay extra to see it in 3D? Okay, you just roboted Jason. No, we no. didn't. Up. Is Give me back my son. Yep, <laughs> Kathy, definitely my Your connection. connection is shit. Not other people's. <laughs> We've um, been over this. Hello? It is never your fault. Yeah, we can hear you, Kathy. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> your fault. <laughs> oh. Okay, I, I can hear you again. What did, what did you right, say? So you? Continue talking about how you get no bitches and instead you just get scammed and just seeing. We were, yeah, we were asking about the, mag <laughs> the magnitude of the scam, like whether it was 3D or IMAX or anything. Sounds like this guy's pretty uh, low. Yeah. Low, uh, low, pretty low level. Doesn't really have his, doesn't have his hustle game up. I mean, I uh, that was it. What a fucking Chad. <laughs> <laughs> pretend, pretend to be interested in a girl just to get her to pay for your fucking movie tickets. That's the real movie pass. I'm going to try that. <laughs> Free movie pass for life. Hell yeah, get someone else to pay for your shit. That's the way to do it. Kathy, you have to remember, he only asked to go to the movie theater, not to see a movie. You may have suggested seeing the movie, actually. True, true. I did not suggest to see the movie. He would just—he just, he, he just really <laughs> likes movie theater food. He wanted to go like sit in the lobby and have a date. He—he oh, he didn't eat any food. Unfortunately, and then you were like, "Oh, let's go see the movie." And then he's like, "I guess." No, again, I wasn't the one. I wasn't the one who said we should go to the movie. Uh, Kathy, that doesn't seem right to me. 
<laughs> yeah, that doesn't Wait, check out. Even, based on what did I know. You even like the movie? No, I fucking hated the movie. <laughs> I love the movie personally. It's way too yeah. fucking long. Can we do a mini issue crew movie review on Avatar: <laughs> The Way of Water? The the movie I have the movie. Have you seen it, Demi? Yeah, I watched it. Like, who has and it? has not seen Avatar two? Here, I've, I've seen, seen it. it. I, 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 I seen do not one. want to ever see. Fucking I haven't Avatar seen it, but I say I will. I I'm really. Not, I'll review it. I I, I have I, not, and I'll probably go see it. For like a movie review, okay. Then oh, he good. dies in the end. Cons- considering you've seen it, Kathy, I probably will go <laughs> and I'll make you review it with me. Dude, all the main characters die in the end. Spoilers. No, just he dies. Only he dies. Honestly, I would have really liked it if all of the main characters died. Spoiler. Like if it were like, it's obviously that it's obvious that the American American people are like, the quote unquote military bad guy, right? So, like, realistically, well, what we would have just... What the fuck are you talking about? We're talking about Avatar and Avatar 2, right? We're talking about Avatar 2, which I think is a very different film. Oh, okay. Well, who cares? Nuke the fucking planet of full of blue bastards. Take their resources and fuck off. I heard wow. something. I, heard it done. I, I, I did listen to the Is It Keto about it, and all I retained yeah. is that there's some really smart whales or some shit. I, 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 the whales literally. Okay, the oh, whales. Really? The <laughs> whales. What's up, Brandon? <laughs> Rather, you're pretty smart, right? No, uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> whales. I love you, Rather. <laughs> <laughs> the whales could have been completely cut from the movie, and it wouldn't have changed anything. Oh. Because I'm a whale. Oh. Ah. Random Kandor, you, the, 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 <laughs> you fit right in, Random. <laughs> Sorry. Do you think whales are real? Can we get copyright struck for no. that? If I if I hum the Jurassic Park slash Man, whales. maybe if you're so you, you have to be like so good that it's like per- pitch perfect. Like <laughs> I think that, I think that happened to Smooth McGroove. <laughs> Smooth McGroove does have a perfect voice. Demi and the Goons, like, like half of my uploads get copy striked, and they don't even contain like actual audio files from music. They just have the same melodies. Well, they they do uh, they do claim melodies. Yeah, well, I'm saying like whether it's a virtual instrument or somebody whistling, it could be the same. You just have to match the melody exactly, and yeah. I get. I- I guess that's, it's not even, so, that's not even true. That's not even true because, like, I'll I'll like transpose it into a completely different key, and just because it sounds vaguely similar, like it gets fucking taken down. Hey Demi, and, you should just you just should just replace all of the music with Weezer songs. Yeah, that that won't get taken down. De- sure. Demi Gloom should retroactively replace all of the music in her videos with Weezer songs. The entire Breaking Bad DS OST is just composed Weezer. by Weezer. We I. Just like Walter White. Yeah, every fucking song, every song is basically uh fucking uh, uh that one song. It's just Buddy Holly. That's just not. That's just not true. What's with these homies dissing my girl? Never sing again. <gasps> Kathy, Riley really just said, "What's with rude. these homies dissing my girl?" Looking at his boy. Is in my girl. What's with these homies? What's with this these my homies? This in my girl. This in my girl. <laughs> Kathy, what, what was this homie's name that dissed you? Who was this homie who dissed you? Are they in the room with us right now? Homie. Do you see the perpetrator? Yeah, I'm right here. <laughs> Is this homie <laughs> in the room with us right now? <laughs> Oh, homie, if you hear us, please give us a sign. Do you want to talk about the stuff? Kathy, Kathy you, should, you should message that I'm guy. Put, I'm putting it back in the Constitution, and if you delete it, you're in trouble. What? Putting what in the Constitution? <laughs> there, there, was a, there was an amendment that got fucking deleted immediately by <laughs> Kathy. I put an amendment <laughs> in the Constitution that Kathy is not allowed to try to get us back on track. Because she always does it like in the middle of us doing something fun. Like we'll be on a fun we'll be on a fun tangent. We won't be we won't be done. And then Kathy will be like, Can we can we talk about the the thing? <laughs> Got him. I, can we just talk about like how much I fucking turn it off the chest of the park, you fucking 
Hey, yo, are you playing chess? Yeah. Mr. Electric. Mr. Electric <laughs> sent to the principal's office and have him expelled immediately. Kathy. Kathy, you should message that guy and say, you owe me a movie. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, I, yes. I have a question for, for Mr. Candor. Random. Dumb can. Mm, Mr. Randor. Mm -hmm. Mr. Randor. 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 Are you any good at tennis? Oh my oh. fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, what, what's all. the context? Let's wait. Were you not, yeah, were you not here for the episode where we played tennis, Kathy? I, I, I don't think you were. There's no way. No, no, it's probably. I just, I just I don't need think to know. Are you, are you any good at tennis? There, there was a couple weeks where Kathy didn't come on the show. She just, like, joined the call, said one sentence, and then left. Okay, well... Some fucking Monkey Jones PCP shit right there. I just need to know if Random Candor is any good at tennis. No, I am not. Okay, well, to you. Ugh. Come on, pass it back. Pass it back. <laughs> wow, the random wasn't lying when he said he wasn't good at tennis. Yeah, he yeah. stuck at this. Right. <laughs> to Andrew, to Andrew. Ugh. All right, got it. <laughs> nice, this, nice, okay, nice. It gets worse and worse every single time. Okay, <laughs> can we just to not do this? To Demi, yeah. To Demi, come on. Bad job, Demi. Don't just hold the ball. Just don't just hold the ball in the air. Uh, I hold your mom's balls in the air. Shut the fuck up. There you go. Oh, shit. Wow, I didn't know she had those. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's 2022, Riley. It's yeah, 2023. Riley. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, it is 2023. Never mind. Forget what I said. Yeah. Riley, do you still have a big crush on uh, Ellen Page? <laughs> I mean, he, the, the Elliot Page back when he had not transitioned in the movie Juno was pretty cute. In the movie Juno, <laughs> listen, Riley, before he got fat in the movie Juno. <laughs> that's, that's really transphobic, Riley. You shouldn't say things like that. Yeah, Riley. Riley, you should say more stuff like that. I encourage it and endorse it. Now, now that the movie podcast is a different show than what it used to be, um, and I don't think Kathy has seen Juno, I think it's time for the Juno Tuno review. Oh, Christ. Is there a <laughs> sequel to Juno? No. Or are you just saying you're going to review Juno again? I'm going to do Juno again. <laughs> she got pregnant again. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> wow. Tuno Juno. It's a movie about a woman, but I probably won't like it. The, I, I mean, it won a bunch of awards. It's genuinely really well written. I I think it's an amazing movie, but we'll see. It is not well written. The dialogue in that movie makes me want to kill myself. Well, you know what, Jason? What I always up. disagree well, yeah, with people true. on whether or not something is well written. People said the um the dialogue in uh, Star Wars Episode Two was bad, but they're just they're just lying to themselves. Okay, no, no, I I, uh, I I gotta disagree with you there. It cool. was pretty bad. That no, Phantom Phantom Menace too. It had great dialogue. Uh, okay, yeah. Now I actually know that this is great dialogue, shitty acting, especially from yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, bad and, acting, but great dialogue. George yeah, Lucas yeah, writes like the best good. dialogue, though, like objectively speaking. Oh, true, true, Misa. true. Misa, oopsie. So, it's kind of it's mostly true. It's mostly true. It's not so bad. I mean, if you go back and watch like episodes to, uh, four, five, and six, and one, two, and three, yeah, it's, and it's one not so and bad. one and two specifically. Misa makes yeah. a oopsie. In four, five, and six, he had a team of backup writers to fact check his shit. Everybody on the original cast said that his dialogue was so bad that Harrison Ford threatened to tie him up at gunpoint. No, that's false. That's fake, fake news. Fake news. You're yeah, that's false. not real. George okay, Lucas is a great writer. Real. Okay. Ford, you don't really ha have to do that. Don't tie me up, please. I'm Harrison sorry, Ford literally just is Han Solo. Mm hmm. No, Harrison. Mm, I don't Isn't know. Isn't Harrison about that. Ford more, more identified with Indiana Jones? Like, he fucking. 
he he wanted out of Han Solo, but like he freaked the fuck out about the character maybe he identified in Indiana most Jones. Fucking Rick Deckard from fucking Blade Runner because he just doesn't give a shit about anything anymore. Yeah, see, like uh, Harrison Ford is actually like multiple people. You know, he's uh, Indiana Jones, Han it's Solo. Almost as if he's an actor. <laughs> yeah, Han Solo. He's, he's he doesn't actually act. He just gets cast to the same. He just shows up. Personality. It's not, he doesn't actually act. This is all just his multiple personalities, and they just sort of filmed it and went yeah, with it. Yeah, you know, he's from Blade Runner. He's the president of the United States. You know, all sorts of shit, man. It's mm-hmm. just fucking very aren't versatile. All these characters, aren't all these characters just cool, nonchalant douchebags? Yes. No, I, yeah. I, no. Air Air Force One uh, is obviously super different because he's like, oh, give me back my family. Oh, I'm Harrison Ford. Oh, I'm our president. Oh, he cares about him. Have you guys seen the the interview with Harrison Ford or like? Oh, seen friend. the news about when Harrison Ford was asked if Han Solo was going to be a force ghost. Oh God! Yeah, <laughs> he, he said something super insulting. I don't he remember. He said, what it he was. said, he says, "I have no idea what the fuck that is." <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! He doesn't know what a force ghost Epic is. Gamer, yeah, you, you, you think you could draw some conclusions? Like uh, mm-hmm. just like, oh, a ghost. <laughs> And I guess yeah, you know those ghosts, Star Wars. those ghosts in that were in Star Wars in the movie that I'm in. Yeah, the movie. I, that bet, I, I bet Han Solo. It's not Han Solo. I bet Harrison Ford has never even watched Star Wars. <laughs> he just doesn't even give a shit. I don't think he likes any of the <laughs> shit that he does. I really don't think he does. I think kind of like me with podcasts. He hates Star Wars nerds. Yeah, Demi Gloom loses one yeah. episode of a podcast, and suddenly her entire podcast career is in jeopardy. Yeah, I'm pissed Losing about an that. Episode? Oh, Demi, are you sitting saved? down? Because I, I think I have some news for you. What? It is not the end of the world. Uh, if you it leave. literally is. Oh, it's Middle school GSA episode two was perfect. It was perfect. It was beautiful. I already told you that you should just. Uh, you, your mic. The, the, the problem is that her mic was fucked up, which good call to not release it like super publicly, but like you could put it no, up no, as a no, bonus no, on Patreon. Should... You should definitely release it with the like shitty mic audio anyway, just for funsies. That's what Riley would do. That is oh, no. Riley. By the way, yeah. by the way, hold on, hold on. By the way, Riley, um, if you do notice that mic wobble problem again, please immediately let me know because I am pretty sure that it's I fixed it. Right okay. No, it's not. It's not happening right now. <laughs> Don't fuck with me. <laughs> has it? Has it happened at all in this episode? Yeah, I don't think so. Shut up, Jason. Jason, I don't, I don't trust you. <laughs> don't trust Jason. <laughs> Why would you not trust me? I'm the most trustworthy guy here, right? Random, random knows. Yeah, yep. Yeah. You got to clean right, up, Randor. Yeah, <laughs> Randor. Me and Randor go way back, so <laughs> he knows I'm a trustworthy yeah. guy. Isn't the he the uh, the monster, the monster under the bed in Monsters Inc. Randor? <laughs> a little snake. Isn't one? his name Randy? His name is Randor. No, it's Red Doll. Randor. Red Doll. Okay. No, no, like Randor from My Name Is Earl. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Is this all a right. Mortal Kombat shit even real, or am I being trolled? <laughs> am I being had? Okay, guys, I have a, I have a question for you. For and this is this isn't just for the host. This is for all the viewers at home. Let's say okay. you were offered a lot of money. We're talking like enough to last. Yeah, like Walter White money. We're, we're talking like that's enough for juniors college tuition. It's enough for it's enough for my my ovipositor to go up my urethra. So, <laughs> let's just say hypothetically you were offered that money, but in exchange, something spawned in the in the world across the entire globe on the opposite side of the world, a snail. And this snail is a menace, a, a true force to be reckoned with. Let's say hypothetically that this snail, all right, could it could it could it will tr- it will always know where you are, and it will always go to get you. And if you if it touches you, even so much as touches you, you die. Game over. Game over. If you know, it spawns on the opposite side of the earth and it's a snail, would it even get to you at all statistically? Yeah. Okay, no, okay, like, let's it, it explain <laughs> that like it, it, it go underwater and like live, you know, it'll travel across the bottom of the ocean and it will always move at the same speed. And okay, that speed is of uh, average snail. All right, so we're not dealing with any like Jason Voorhees can just like teleport across great no, distances it, bullshit. 
No, it will just travel okay. its way. It will just make its way towards you. No, we we, we got to clarify like some of the bullshit, you know, because all of a sudden you got yeah, like a you have a snail that can do help. instant transmission and shit, you know. It just, it, it just knows where you are at all times, and it will just always try and get to you. If it did get to you, it would take like fucking fifty years, wouldn't it? But yeah, but what but what happens fifty years in the future? When you're alive and wealthy and healthy because you paid for some fucking magic voodoo shit to make well, you can, live forever. Can the snail be killed by other things? Okay, what if the snail's killed on yeah. its way to you? It's just a snail. The snail right? is immortal. If that's why it's called the immortal. Uh, the snail is immortal and you are immortal. The snail can't fly, can it? No, it, it, if it travels... No, it's still a snail. It's a so, snail. If the if you see the snail, then you fucking if you see the if you look outside your window, you see it's it's getting close. You just fucking get on a plane. <laughs> well, yeah, you can you can do that. The thing is, though, you know, there's like a million other things that can like stop it. Like I'm assuming yeah. that if like I'd say if it got like caught in a fucking ocean that was about to freeze over because of an ice age, it would be frozen. Yeah place but that's it was what, still the interesting part of the discussion comes from yeah but it, it was still like when it could it would move forward toward you so there's like a million things that you could do to impede its progress but it will go after you eventually yeah. what if you put it under <laughs> like a very heavy metal bowl See, I was, the bowl with see I was thinking one, one of my plans was to just like entrap it in a fucking like metal ball and I mean, like, straight up, like, have that shit welded around the snail. Like, hire a bunch of people to do it for me so that I don't have to get close to the snail. And this way, I would be able to be based. Okay, I so mean, I'm super cooked. Like my response would be very easy to be defeated. <coughs> like, uh, my response to this hard. is I would feel bad for the snail. You'd feel empathy for the snail because you're an empath. That's not what an empath is, first of all. Second of all, <laughs> second of all, I care I care about all life, including snails, and I'm not going to allow something to be spawned into existence just to suffer in order for me to live a wealthy life. I think that's stupid. You are actually so fucking dumb. You're playing so hard in the character. Demi Gloom is so fucking buggy. cucked. First the killing bugs bullshit. If you if the, the snail will be suffering if I left it in a if I just welded a ball around it and forced it to just sit oh, there and experience oh. nothing. How do you give know it? A, maybe give it a TV. Is. Like you know you know that meme where it's like the inside of a pokeball. <laughs> give it a little TV. A mental asylum fucking isolation room. I think uh we should just build like a utopia for the snail, right? And then just like encase it in like metal <laughs> so it can never escape. But it was born to chase you. So it's not allowed to achieve what? It's not allowed to achieve. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say what that snail thinks. Here we go. What? There you go. That's what the snail thinks. <laughs> I mean, snails do think. Whether whether you can make a funny joke about them not thinking or not, snails do think snails they are sentient like, creatures. Snails and like I and like a weird like uh, fossil thing if they're like frozen. See, here's. See, here's the thing what, is that the animals can, I guess, feel emotions and they can be hurt, but they're not they're not cognizant enough to register that they're like stuck somewhere, really. Like, yes, they, they are. What are you talking about? They have desi they have very basic like desire. And one of them is not being around. There. They have mental health to account for. If you put for. that snail well, in that well, metal ball, it's just going to be like mental health. Kathy, well, Demi's done up. a variety of experiments on cats and dogs. If I saw that so thing in my living room, know. I'd stomp on it until it was a small brown stain. Yeah, Demi Gloom did a lot of experience with animals, and she has concluded that they all feel pain and suffering. Okay, yeah. you guys <laughs> is that a is that a furry joke or something? <laughs> no, What's that's the joke a, there? That's a you you torture dogs and cats serial killer joke. Huh. You guys want to know? The well, that's first of all, you should have made that joke for me. It would have worked a lot better. Yeah. Second of all, um, second of all, the 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 ultimate solution is the snail zombie parasite. I'm what? listening. Elaborate. <laughs> I'm, I'm listening. I'm listening. So the, so the snail zombie parasite, basically, what it does, it's a parasitic worm. Oh, that, that thing. Uh, I know. What, I know what you're, talking about. you're talking about cordyceps. 
yeah, the thing that burrows into like their antennas and like makes it move yeah. weirdly. That's yeah, the it's ult- a fucking parasite that turns snails into zombies. That's the ultimate solution to this. Because the snail is immortal, but that doesn't mean it can't be like burrowed into, right? No. True. You're actually a fucking genius. Okay, well, here's here's a question now. All right, so since this is a a, a matter of immortality, so you're immortal and the snail is immortal, right? Wouldn't evolution sort of start taking its course eventually, thousands of years for you're the snail? You're not immortal. Wait. No, what? of course you're immortal. I thought that no. was stated earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like you and the snail are now both immortal. I think I think Kathy wait, said that earlier, and nobody corrected her. That's not. Wait, what wait, wait, saying. wait. Why would why would you be immortal? Then the snail can't kill you. Well, that's no, the whole, but the that's, whole point. But that's the eter- but the whole thing is the internal e- eternal chase, right? Yeah, there, there, there so are two would, scenarios: you're immortal or the snail's immortal. But there's also the one where you just get a shit ton of money, and also the snail is immortal and trying to kill you. Well, no, I, I thought that you were both immortal. That way, you know, that, you does, really man, that does make it more fun because I don't. I am really mad that this is a very lifespan. serious conversation. I'm really <laughs> mad that we're having a, <laughs> an actual conversation I about want, this. We're having fun. <laughs> well, I do. Fuck yeah, man! I'm all I'm all about that because I'm out of here after like ten thousand years. We're probably going to be colonizing planets and shit. Or maybe not even ten thousand, maybe even like one or two hundred, man. Who knows? But I want to be a, I want to, I want to be alive to see that shit. What planet would you colonize first if you could? What? Oh, what? What planet? Well, I guess obviously Mars because it's the closest one. Though I'd love to make like a whole fucking giant moon base so we can jump off from planet to planet. That and going to well, the I moon would, would colonize be Jupiter so I could get more stupider. Shut the fuck up. No, I go to I go to Venus. I <laughs> all right. Why would you go to Venus, Jello? Make the joke. I, to get, you uh, you want to get it. <laughs> you want to go to Venus to get more penis? Is that is that why? Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, let's calm it down with the anti-Semitic remarks here. He just has okay. A thank clip. you, meme lord. I'd colonize Uranus. Oh, I know you would, Kathy. Yeah, you would like that, wouldn't you, Kathy? No, but fuck oh yeah. Well, God. like, yeah, because, like, if you're not immortal, you know, like, then really all okay, you're doing is just outlasting the immortal snail, and but... you get a ton of money. Well, yeah. Well, no, no, no. I, I don't need the money. I'll get the money because I'm I'm immortal, and now I have time to just fucking plan it out, right? Yeah. So blah, blah, Honestly, blah, blah, blah. Honestly, if you can live forever and you're not rich by, like, a hundred years That would years suck. In, honestly, just kill yourself at the point. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> If you're terrible at making money, then if you can't, ma- if you're immortal, you, you're not fucking filthy, stinking rich by a hundred years, by the hundred year mark, you're an idiot. A lot of people oh. aren't rich by a hundred. Well, I'd say most. Well, yeah, but if you're like immortal and you're not rich yet, like you should know, you should be able to figure out how to make money by then. You could just like steal money. Why does random Kandor sound like me when he's far away from his microphone? Because they just have good voices. Holy uh, shit! I had no idea. Random Candor isn't real. At least if it, if you're Mo Diggity, was ra- was Random let in on that bit? Random Candor can't hurt you, Mo. He doesn't exist. <laughs> He's not explain real. this. Yeah, Random. <laughs> fucking two months ago or something, Kathy changed <laughs> her name in Mo Diggity's server to Random Candor, and Mo oh just thought God. that was like a name that Kathy went by and didn't realize yeah. it was a separate person. Because Kathy would always come in there uh, uh, with the name Random Candor, right? So I thought, oh, okay, so it's been like a month and a half of this shit of her showing up in the VC like Random Candor. I was like, oh, hey, what's up? And then Everyone was like, "Random Candor is coming to the podcast." I'm like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" Like, she's right here. And then you're like, "No!" Oh, like, and then fucking Kathy's house of fucking cards fell all around her. And, and now Damn. I'm having like a mental breakdown and shit. And like, well, what's what? <laughs> you know, what's real? I've achieved my goal. Kathy, my, I hate my legal you. team will be in touch. Yes, identity theft. Copy right serious crime. So, what if I ate the snail? You would well, die. That's the you would that die. You I don't. Yeah, uh, is, is eating touching it though? If I just like, oh, I'm... yeah, it would touch your inside. Be digestive. It'll come no, to I don't think it counts. No, I as, as soon as it hits your tongue, man, you're fucking dead. 
Yeah, like, maybe, okay, well, maybe if you that. maybe if you somehow swallowed it without it touching your like tongue or throat. Okay, no, no, no. It's still touching you, the person well, that actually, is you. Does do they ever define how the no. snail could kill you? Does it have special powers, or is it just an immortal snail? No, it just, it, if it touches you, you die. Yeah, it's just no. instant. It's just instant death. No okay. questions asked. I, it can just hold on. It can just kill you. And that's just how it is. That's that's what. Yeah, but if it's your stomach acid, then that's still you. Right? Yeah, because it's it's still you, but it's going to touch the lining of your stomach right. eventually in some capacity. All right, game Which theory. Exactly. Game theory. Game theory. Okay. Me and the snail reverse C section. What? What does that even mean? But, you oh, you, oh you cut your stomach open and put the snail in there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it would jello. It would touch your stomach. Up. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, I swear, if I could reach into the fucking screen and punch you, I fucking would. I bet you would like that, you fucking little, you fucking little, you little baby. Oh, you, you little baby, baby back bitch! I swear to God, baby back bitch. Okay, can other people touch the snail? Well, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. that's fine. Unless they're immortal too. Well, though, I guess then you could just then you could just hire somebody to fucking like baseball throw it away. Here's the thing with the snail thing, okay? Mm -hmm. I think having other people, like you being able to contact other people and have them deal with the snail for you is kind of cheating. So let's say you cannot you cannot mention the snail. You cannot speak of the snail to any other Who human. Who the fuck would take you <laughs> saying, oh yeah, I'm immortal, but the moment I touch this snail, this one in particular, it will kill me. I bet Ross Putin could have said that and people would have believed him. <laughs> <laughs> what if I just found a guy who really hates snails and just like hired him to just be like my retainer? To kill any snail that comes near you? Like, like it's just his habit, you know? Like it, it's just always oh, you just happen to just hit he, the snail. he would try to stomp the snail and it wouldn't die, and he'd be like, "What the fuck?" And then I'd be like, "You should throw it, bro. Maybe that'll work." Okay, well, so probably. here's here's a question: Can the mm -hmm. snail open doors? No, no the snail yeah. can't oh, open the doors. Oh, then you it's not you a win. magic snail. No, no, no. It, 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 it like emits poop and it forms a hand and it opens the door. Well, I was thinking more in terms of him using the force to just open up a door or something like that. Wait, or who, you know who said that who said that the snail was a male? Who said it was a male snail? Oh Why shut the fuck him? up. We're literally not <laughs> having Yeah, well it could be. Well, either way it wants to kill me. So we're here. Yeah, well it wants it wants to kill me, so I don't Wait, respect. Hold on, hold on. We're here. Random. Is there anything you want? Turn on your face cam. Turn on your face cam. Turn on your face cam. <laughs> Random <laughs> Pandora has been the immortal snail. Right, everybody, the turn on their time. face cam. I need to see who's human and who's not. I can't turn on my cam. I don't have fingers. And that's a likely story. That's what a snail that would like say. Something an immortal, immortal snail. snail would say. Yeah, but I like can't turn on my webcam because I don't have appendages. I mean, because I don't have one. Mm -hmm. I I lost them in the accident. I was real. I was real suspicious of you right at the get go because you were all like, "Hey guys, man, I love crawling around on my stomach. Who else, huh?" <laughs> like Hather's house on their back, right? Hell yeah, fucking cheap rent. I was surprised everyone agreed. You were like hashtag snail life. Hashtag like, snail life. Would you would you like to eat some uh, escargot with me? Let's go. Uh, that's against my religion. <laughs> oh, oh, is it now? Something, uh, something, a snail religion. <laughs> All right, let's do a hypothetical. Let's say you're talking with the immortal snail right now. <laughs> what do you do? Why are you trying to kill me? Well, hold on. The snail can't understand English. It's it's not why it's it's a moral. I'm, I'm sure you. eventually it'll figure out what words it'll mean. Learn. It'll learn. You know what? We could actually say it's a human because it probably now understands the quadratic formula. Well, also, you know, it could have ADD or ADHD, so maybe the snail can move a little fast, but it's easily distracted. Ooh, hey. true. Like, what true. if it likes going to like fucking like clubs and shit? Is like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what if it finds some hot snail dance? Hold on, place. It like. <laughs> Go on. You could just like pay the snail off with like snail strippers. Then I was gonna say, what if I get uh, one of my friends to disguise themselves as a hot female babe in his local area? Oh, you yeah, can't you can, mention the snail. You can Looney Tunes the shit. Oh, like, no, hey, but I'll just here, be here's like, the snail. Man, put on this outfit. 
Yeah, like here's a snail costume with a big pair of tits. Okay, here, go seduce that snail <laughs> yeah. over there. Okay, can I, that can, I, can I ask another hypothetical question? Hell yeah. yeah, sure. What if you were the snail and you had to hunt down the guy that had like infinite money? Ooh. What's your strategy I then? I hunt him down. Element of some, I, I, I track him. I track him down, but I make sure well, he first. Be there's able the fucking forty year nice track of getting to him because I spawn at the other side of the world. I think uh, you can wait. My my, I've, the first strategy would be to sneak my way onto as many vehicles going in that direction as possible. Yeah, on my on my quest. But I'd wait till night and kill him while he's sleeping. Okay. Okay. I w- here's the strategy I would use. I would try yeah. to like d- get like Kiwi Farms to hunt him down for me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. They'll probably do that. <laughs> Hold on. I have an important question though. Yeah. So, so snails obviously don't live super long, right? But since we're assuming the snail is immortal, he's going to live much older, to be much older than a regular snail would be. Would he develop intelligence that no other snail would have? That's not how biology works. That's, that's, well, that's how I was asking earlier when we were determining who has immortality. Yeah, it's no because longer a snail anymore. It's a human because it understands the quadratic formula. Well, like e- e- evolution would eventually take place and would start to evolve a little bit, at least have that's some That's not legs how evolution or... works. The same no, creature wouldn't... doesn't evolve. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's, it's not fucking Pokemon. Works that... <laughs> well, He's uh, not going to okay. reach level 36 and evolve. That's not how well, it works. You see, you don't know that because the parameters are fucking <clears throat> different with an immortal oh. snail, though. No, 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 no. How do you think evolution works? Well, like, you open up your stat fucking charts and you, like, put in enough points toward, like, evolution, and then you sprout legs. You had to get the moonstone. You ever play yeah. Spore? It's like that. Yeah, I've actually just bought Spore recently, and I'm all about that game. It's a pretty fun game. It's pretty okay, fucking what? cool. Hold on, if Kathy. I was... <laughs> Hold on, can I say something to Kathy real quick? No. Yeah. When, when I said when I said that the snail would develop new intelligence, what I mean is that since he lived so long, he would have so much more time to, um, you know, fight the same obstacles that he would eventually reach solutions that other snails trial wouldn't. So, like, he would be able, yeah, exactly, much much more trial and error experience. So, the snail could actually learn a lot more if he had more time to live. That's not necessarily like against biology. You know, if I was the snail, I'd go, like, in order to get there faster to the guy, I would, you know, you know, the high turtles and finding Nemo, I just hitch a ride with them. <laughs> I was thinking I was going to become a fucking roadie for a fucking uh, a popular band or something. I can travel the world, see some sights, nail some babes, and then go find my fucking target, fucking off and go back on the road. Okay, wait, wait. You know that movie Turbo with about the snail that goes oh fast? I just asked God. <laughs> asked I knew this. Is, I knew this was going to get mentioned in some capacity. Whoa, that snail is fast. Oh, those snails are fast. You remember the uh, the Netflix cartoon of Turbo that had three? We seasons? don't talk about that. I talk about it. I watched all three seasons. Was it good? I remember. I remember when Turbo was going to get married to a praying mantis lady before he realized that. You know, praying mantises fucking kill each other after marrying each other. He's against interracial marriage? Yeah, he's very racist. Very based, honestly. Be cringe. Actually, but I, but I would like, you know, I'd assume like I'd spawn somewhere around like Australia. So like I'd, I'd enter the ocean and then I hitch a ride with the fucking high turtles. Then I come across an underwater city run, ran by this man named Andrew Ryan. See what the fuck is up with that. (laughs) But then uh, I would I would go to Turbo and ask for a sp- fast shell. And that way what if I can get catch up by a whale. What? What if he gets swallowed by a whale? I just enter a- exit his anus. Well, hold on. What if what if the other guy pays off Turbo? Ooh, that's a good. OK, fair point. Um. I'll hold him. But well, the whole life's purpose is to kill this guy. I'll hold right? Turbo's uh, gang hostage. I'll find a way. Was this was a snail not spawned with the express purpose to kill this other person that overrides any other natural instinct? Well, it's it's a means to an end. It's a means to an end. Wait, wait, wait. 
here's 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 a question. What if after the snail gets you, you turn into the snail? You and the snail switch places and it goes on forever. Oh, that's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> Dude, that's kind of a cool fucking concept, though. You spend like 10,000 years of the snail, you get the guy, then all of a sudden, like, oh, okay, well, now it's my turn now. And you guys do like a bunch of like, no, uh, you know, tag backs and shit. Honestly, eventually, I'd just be tired. Of I feel like just say no tag backs. I feel like that would be like the infinite prisoner's dilemma, you know? Yeah. You would just come to the like an agreement with the snail, like okay, each of us get to be human for like fifty years. Yeah, I'd write, I'd write out in my snail sludge a message for him. <laughs> I think that would be kind of fun to like come to a compromise. Like, all right, here, look, you get a lifetime, then you come back and like you know we switch bodies, and I get a lifetime. You know, like let's say like eighty, bank, ninety fucking years. What? You get to rob a bank. I get to rob a bank. But there's no incentive for anyone to actually adhere to that agreement after they become human. Well, no, you, you would you would benefit from like the pre like you would sort of take over the dude's finances or businesses or or like fucking planes or, like, and you're switching stuff cognizant. like that. You're, you're switching consciousness, not just okay. I thought it was like if I get touched by the snail, I just like TF into a snail, and the snail just like transforms into like another guy. TF TF one or TF two though. Um, TF Transformers, Optimus Prime, Dark Side of the Moon. <laughs> Prime, Dark Side of the Moon. <laughs> I, uh, well, I was kind of thinking maybe if you if we are able to do it that way, that means it's guaranteed immortality. But like one's not being more selfish than the other, you know? Because like apparently maybe the snail wants to achieve, uh, like wants to experience what it's like to be human or something. You know, it's like Demi was talking about after he achieves like a certain level of uh, intelligence, maybe he doesn't want to be a snail anymore and he fucking cuts you a deal. Instead of killing you, we just switch fucking, you know, bodies and you the keep me as a pet and I do snail stuff. Yes, snail starts to identify as a slug. I don't know how that works in like, you know, the, the bug kingdom, but, you know, whatever he can do, I guess. The bug kingdom. If snails get evicted, then they become slugs. Wait, 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 hold on. Are snails even classified as bugs? No, they're mammals. No. no. Most insects aren't even classified as bugs. Let alone this non-insects. Oh, this I'm demi gloom. <laughs> but no, if they're it's not. it's all creepy and annoying, then it's a bug. Let's go. Um, but... Wait, wait, wait. D- Jason, does that mean you're a bug? Yes. Well, I'm not creepy. I'm just small Aren't snails and cephalopods or something is what they are. Aren't snails syphilis? What? What? Oh. <laughs> 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 oh. 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 Stop. Oh. Stop. Oh. Leave that in 2022. Oh. Yeah, instead oh. of doing soundboards, we're just going to make the sounds with our mouths now. Okay. Well, you know, ha, all right, so ha, my, my here's, here's a, <laughs> Oh my god. Here's here's what I'm thinking, like, right? Like you're an immortal, so eventually you could just like create like a fucking hover chair or something that just hovers like 10, 20 feet off the fucking ground. And then you're forever uh, fucking safe from the snail because you could probably just hover a chair to like another state or something. Or, you know, you can entrap the snail in like a metal box or something like Riley yeah, was kind of talking about. Idea. And then you could just take a fucking rocket ship because eventually in like a few hundred years, uh, space travel will probably be like just buying like a fucking plane ticket or something. Well, well, here's the thing. A snail can theoretically get on a plane. Yeah, can't the snail just get a ride? Yeah, but if he's not able to get out of the box, like if it's perfectly sealed, and there's like people just like watching it, like you know, with their eyes, like just staring at tracking its movements till I get on the the rocket ship, 
then you know I'm good, and then I'm free of the curse, and I get to travel the solar system as an immortal being. You can't get anyone to help you with the snail. You're not allowed to talk about the snail. Yeah, but I, 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 I could just, I can just not tell them what they're doing it for. I mean, if I'm fabulously wealthy, people will just do what I fucking tell them to. Like I'll have servants or something. Like, hey guys, do me a favor, take the day off and just watch this snail. Make sure it doesn't get out of there. Okay. But you can't bring the snail up. <laughs> But nobody would do that. Everybody would be like, okay, I'm going to do that, and then they just not watch it. Yeah. Fuck. Who the fuck is going to watch a metal ball making sure a snail doesn't get out? If I was the snail, I'd just eat my way out of the ball. Well, if I give you, like, 5,000 bucks for, like, a three-hour job, I mean, like, people will do anything. They'll fucking do it. I don't know. I would There is the risk of just expecting no one to check up on you and being like, okay, it's the easy money out. Play with stocks well. Yeah, true. I mean, like plan B, I guess, would just be I can just like put fucking uh uh security cameras all around the fucking uh little like thing and I could just watch it from my phone or something. I guess that would be a that's a what I was thing. thinking. Like like that one eagle egg or whatever when they had it on live stream. Security cameras. Put it in a zoo or something with some twenty four hour security. live oh, security five nights at snails. <laughs> Five Nights at Snailies. I'd get, I, you know what? I didn't list the help of Freddy Fazbear. I'd have him help me with the snail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Freddy Fazbear would be a powerful ally in the battle against the snail. You, yo, okay. I really think the U.S. military should enlist the help of Freddy Fazbear. I'm just saying. Like, if they want to imagine you're in like a fucking bunker and then you hear like Freddy Fazbear just like <laughs> just, uh, just breaking uh, in. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> You just see a helicopter flying and just like a weird <laughs> fucking. And you just hear. Duh, 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 duh. It's like, oh my fucking god, no. <laughs> Yo, okay, okay. So we got Freddy Fazbear, but also on backup, but nobody knows it. Golden Freddy. Holy Let's shit. I, I get <laughs> Golden, Golden Freddy, Freddy to the snail's game. Can we, can we also get like Freddy from like Fred Fickleston? Just every fictional care, every fictional character named Freddy. We have Freddy Krueger, Freddy Fazbear. Yeah, if, we all, listen, if we all live in a simulation, I'll just get Golden Freddy to crash the snail's version. <laughs> Easy dub. Would that just, would that when it just crash the entire simulation? Then no, 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 just the snails. Okay, because we're all running it on different on different computers, you know. Yeah. yeah. Like joining a Minecraft server, like one person's can crash, but the entire server won't crash. It, it it can, but it won't in this case because I said so. Yeah, my simulation's running on a Windows Vista. I mean, like, let's discuss like ways that like a snail could get on like a hover chair. Like, what would be a way they could do that? Jump. How is the snail gonna jump? Snails are incapable of jumping. Just, that's what it. you think. He'll fall. The future is now, old man. <laughs> okay, so if it spawns, if, if it needs to cross the ocean to get to you, and it can just visit Rapture and get the uh, wind cyclone plasmid, and <laughs> that's how. Fuck up. Okay, Shut see, this is bullshit. Up. Now, now, like, all right, so the fucking snail can get fucking extra powers now. Well, well, hold on. The snail can just rocket jump up to it. Yeah. How's the fucking snail going to yeah. rocket jump up there? He's going to rocket ride someone. Well, it's gonna it's gonna look down and left click. It's gonna yeah, turn uh, on. It's gonna turn on the moon jump cheat code. Yeah. See, this it, is bullshit, man. SV cheats one. <sighs> so the snail would just open the developer console. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, I would just have like, all right. So plan C, then I'll make a fucking personal force field. So whenever I walk around or go to sleep or something. You yes. know, the fucking snail's not there. Well, that's Wait, unrealistic. Oh. Yeah, that's no, but it's the future. It's the oh. future, though. Yeah, Mo, we're, we're having a, a real conversation here, so please stop doing your, like, fantasy <laughs> fantasy stuff. You know, like, so Jello can bring up fucking Bioshock, but I can't fucking bring up Future Tech? Yeah. No. Bioshock is real. Bioshock is based. Yeah, Bioshock that's is a documentary. <laughs> yeah. Bioshock. <laughs> but also, Bioshock takes place in 1960. That's a time that's already passed. We're not talking about the future. We're talking about technology that already exists. Uh, 
Well, Unless I guess you want just... to, get to like Bioshock too, but even then, that's like 1970. Well, what I mean, about uh, what about Bioshock Infinite though? That's 1912. I guess that's in the 12, 12s, huh? Shit. Bioshock yeah, Infinite 19... is a really good game. It yep. is. It's a little bit too handholdy for my taste, but still really good. Yeah, a little too handholdy. Like there's a little bit too much. Like uh, it it, it uh, there's a lack of independence throughout the game, like the yeah. story mode. But like. I get what you're saying. Demi's never played Bioshock Infinite, for the record. <laughs> no, I don't even. Know, I don't even know what Bioshock Infinite is. I just like saying oh, that. Oh fuck! <laughs> Everybody, no, that's it's like for real. Really like you, that people don't like it because that's, of no. The, I, I I like it, but well, like what Demi said is actually like fairly accurate. You're always like forced to ta- have a tag along with you, and whenever you're running a little bit low on ammo or money, the fucking uh, your your just don't accept it. Shit. So. So, well, Mo, there's this, there's this thing that I do in conversations about video games that I don't know is I just repeat what the other person said, but in different words. And then they're like, yeah, yeah, you get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah he gets it, he gets it. <laughs> okay, see, that's super manipulative. And now I don't know, like, what a conversation we've had where I've agreed with you that was actually genuine. We're just gaslighting, like, senile mode today between, like, the random game. See, this isn't thing fucking and, okay. Like, I, I never do this to you fucking people. I swear to God, I will get my revenge on the lot of you. Try to gaslight me, Mo. Try it. Oh, uh, my vengeance will be swift and painful. Swift Once and I end, painful? Trust me, it's over for you guys. It's over for you guys. Hey, man, leave her alone. <laughs> I love the fucking <laughs> meme where it's like the fat anime nerd uh, with the fucking sword, and it's like, leave alone the multi-million dollar corporation. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so Bioshock Infinite. Back to Bioshock. <laughs> Bioshock Infinite. You know, I feel like the snail could benefit from taking a trip to Columbia. But that's just me. Uh, uh, Columbia scares the shit out of me. I'd rather go to fucking Rapture than Columbia. You don't want to visit racist land? No, because I think I'd be a fucking target there, man. I'd end up like, because I'm Irish, too. So I'm going to fucking like the Irish fucking ghetto and shit, and I'm doing fucking terrible work for like a literal pennies, like a day. Just pennies a day. Yeah, you'll live. Quick complaint. Grow a plan. Poorly. I mean, I'll be a part of the revolution, but you know, and that's fun. But you know, like you know, if I can avoid having to be a part of an uprising and just have a good life. For the record, I just want to say that I love the American government. Please do not assassinate me. I think these two people are idiots. Okay, American you're getting assassinated really first. That Ida has some information about Epstein's client list, and I think you should investigate it. I personally, also, if the revolution loves, I, I like that better. Kathy has information revolution that could lead to what? the arrest of Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Kathy knows the truth about 9-11. We all know the truth about 9-11. Kathy is I think everybody in this call is woke enough to know the truth about 9-11. It was me. <laughs> I did it. It was me, Austin. It was me all along. <laughs> all along. The Republican guy was not good. Brandon Kandor, how do you feel about 9-11? Who, who, who do you think did it? Who done it? Oh, Christ. Snail. <laughs> the snail. Oh, my God. The snail. And we snail. come full circle. Snail touched the pilot. Oh my god, that's so true. Oh shit. How can we been so blind? It was a snail all along. And then and and the government knew that this was a perfect opportunity to sign in the Patriot Act. I mean, how did the snail survive? It hitched a ride on one of the terrorist fucking passports that miraculously immortal snail of fire. It's an immortal snail. It just climbed down the wall of the World Trade Center. (laughs) What wall? It came down. No, like while it was crumbling, you just like hitched a ride as it was falling. So it literally went cowabunga, dudes! Whoa! Yeah. You know that scene in Spider-Man Three where he's like jumping through all the like, the the debris to save Gwen Stacy that everybody forgot who was in that movie. Oh yeah, there was like literally no point in having Gwen Stacy in the Tobey Maguire verse. Yep, yep. Wasn't it yep. just so fucking uh, emo Peter could have a girl to hit on for MJ to get mad? Yeah. It literally the opposite of Spider-Man 2. In Spider-Man 2, MJ was the one being a stupid bitch. She was being a whore. 
and now Peter's the one doing it in Spider-Man Three. But it's way more funny because he has he does a funny little dance in the movie. Oh God, the fucking! I don't think it makes Mary Jane a stupid bitch whore that Peter said, "I'm not gonna date you," and then she went and got another. No, you don't don't understand the hatred for her. She did it just to make Peter upset. Okay, go. Who's the weird woman in the Spider-Man comics? In the 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 Spider-Man comics, (laughs) nobody fucking reads the Spider-Man comics. I have some information for you all. Yeah, that, that's that's a long ass fucking combo that I'm not prepared to have. See, Mary Jane's not my favorite because without Mary Jane, we wouldn't get that comic where we learn that Spider Man's cum is radioactive and and it gave fucking Mary Jane cancer. Wait, what? Died. Wait, is what? that real? Yeah, yeah, that's a real thing. <laughs> Who the fuck Isn't wrote that Spider Man comic where the story is that there's a Spider Girl and like the uh, Peter and the Spider Girl can't stop fucking like they have a yeah, biological. That's, that's exactly. <laughs> It's like almost incest, but not really. I was gonna say a biological connection. Like, what do you, what do you, what do you mean by they're that? They're both spider people. No, but they were bit by the same exact spider. Oh, wow. yeah, yeah. But I also, um, why didn't they just kill that spider? Like, why didn't they just the, stomp on him? Remember the comic line where it was revealed that Gwen Stacy had a child with fucking Norman Osborn? Yes, and I hated that one. <laughs> Everybody hated it. Remember the comic line where um, Satan destroys Spider-Man's marriage? That d- n- no, that was the price that Spider-Man had to pay in order for uh, Aunt May to live. Such a stupid- isn't that comic fucking suck? <laughs> yes, it yeah. Does. Everybody, every, every, it literally had to return the status quo to Spider-Man, and everybody hated it. I love how just- I love how everybody everybody's like, no, I don't, I don't fucking know about Spider-Man comics, and now we're just having a discussion about Spider-Man comics. I know some things about them. I just haven't read a lot of them. I know about one more day and why everybody fucking. I've, hates I've it. watched plenty of I've watched plenty of comic story in, so I've I've absorbed some comic Spider-Man story stories in, where we take comic and put them in a bite-sized digestible pieces for you viewing pleasure. Something something that something. dude has like I mean, no he's... neck whatsoever. <laughs> Have you guys re- read the fucking absolute carnage storyline? I, I it's one of the yeah. carnage. You mean lines. maximum carnage? I it's I the one think that the video that, game was based off of. I've maximum Carnage, and then there's Absolute Carnage, and then there's Minimum Carnage, where Deadpool and Agent Venom fight Carnage, but not Deadpool, it's Scarlet Spider, and Agent Venom uh, shrink down in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids style to fight Carnage. Can, although, hold on, in Maximum Carnage, can we talk about how much of a little cuck Peter is? What happens in Maximum Carnage that makes Peter a little Peter cuck? stops Venom from killing Carnage like six times. Well, well, yeah, yeah. Spider Man doesn't want people to die. Have you guys played Maximum Carnage, the fucking Super <laughs> Nintendo game? Fuck yeah, yeah, it's fucking hard as shit. The game is fucking yeah, it's fucking hard, but it's good. That's like <laughs> that's like one of the only good like beat 'em up games from like the 16 bit generation. Oh, Streets of Rage, I think that's really good too. That uh, t- oh, the Ninja Turtle games too. Those are really good. I'm gonna be totally honest. I do not like beat 'em ups. I just don't think they're good. Me neither. Not not normally. In that power I think there Ranger? are exceptions, but beat 'em ups are kind of a shit genre. Weren't you kinda. the one playing that Power Ranger game? That's a fucking fighting game, Tard. What's the difference? Oh my fucking god. Get, what get this bitch out of here. God. Get her out of here. It's her electric. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to your country. Oh, sh- oh shit, wait a minute. You're not... You're not you're not completely ethnically white. That's actually not okay for me to say. I'm sorry. No, be more racist, please. Demi, say more right. racist things. No. See, it was funny because I thought you were white, and then I remembered you weren't <laughs> I remembered you weren't white. So it wasn't funny. Uh, anymore. Let's, let's, let's go around the horn, each say something racist. Andrew wait, go. Wait, hold on. What do you mean I'm not white? Listen, I know you really cling to the oh, white boy. power movement and you like to LARP, but like Kathy, you're you're what? You're Arabic? You're like one fourth Arabic? One fourth? Yeah, you're Ara- you're not fully white. I bet the white nationalist movement wouldn't even notice. Demi has more uh, empathy towards snails than uh, people of different diversity. Yeah. <laughs> I have more sympathy for snails <laughs> than I do you people. <laughs> <laughs> you people. <laughs> what do you mean, you people? You people. Get some every time. Works every time. 
All right, are we done? Is this the end of the no. podcast? So, okay, back to yeah. eating the snake. I think, all right, personally, it just it like if it's touching the inside, it doesn't count as touching. You know, you're wrong. No, it definitely. And you're totally ass wrong. Constantly, and if it's constantly, well, if I were to touch someone with the inside of my stomach, would that count as touching them? Yes, it because yes. it's still touching. That's you. still part of you. Okay, Jason, if you swallowed, so. if you swallowed like burning coals, you're still gonna mm-hmm. feel that. If you swallowed. C- no, I wouldn't, because the <laughs> stomach acid would dissolve it quickly. Yeah, quicker but it, than it, it, it would like there. The probability of the snail not even hitting your esophagus or the back of your throat, or Reverse if it's just like fucking, to see why would you even do that in the first place? What are you trying to do? Establish dominance over it or something? Listen, if it's immortal, then it will constantly be dissolving and regenerating in my stomach acid. Yeah, would but it dissolve still- if it was immortal? Yeah. It would just uh, it would just swim around and then it would touch no, it you. W- it it would dissolve, but it would regenerate so that it doesn't die. Like it wouldn't dissolve all the way. What if it grew spikes? Ooh, well then, well my stomach acid would take care of it. It's not evolving, Mo. That's not how evolution works. How? Huh. You played too much Pokemon as a kid, or something. Meh. I can name like seven people in this call who have played too much Pokemon as a kid. Well, maybe it has like name one them. of those things where like every All like ten, us. fifteen. Okay, so maybe it has something. Maybe every fifteen, twenty years, it just fucking sheds and or just molts. Oh from shit! Its Hold, that's actually that's actually a real good point. Would it? That's a cool idea. Could it actually? Could a species actually evolve from just like constantly like regrowing its skin? Like if it if it had like Wolverine slash Deadpool levels of ability to like regenerate from like one cell of itself, well, then could it actually physically evolve? Well, let's think. Have Deadpool or Wolverine evolved at all? I don't know, but could could they? I mean, that's possible. No. Well, I mean, we haven't seen it. Be- until I I see it, I don't believe it, and I haven't seen it with those two. Well, humans don't really... Do they really physically evolve? Wait, everybody shut the fuck up. Riley just said human correctly. We gotta listen to him. <laughs> do humans physically evolve? Well, we no. do, but it takes, like, millions of years and, like, tons and tons of breeding to finally get to a point where we would, quote, evolve. But, like, with, with Wolverine, though, I think evolution would be nulled on nullified on him because his healing factor is constantly regenerating his cells. So he wouldn't exactly like get, well, then again, he's not really functioningly Im- immortal. Anyway, he just has a really extremely long lifespan because he still does get old in the comics, but not old man. That, Logan, that's but from, that's from, poisoning from this adamantium skeleton. Okay. Well, assuming that there's nothing wrong with him and all that, and he's able to live for an extended period of time, like, well, I guess it would kind of keep him immortal if he was like fucking if if his mutant factor sort of stopped at like thirty three or thirty four, and or like his uh, aging stopped at thirty three or thirty four, and his healing factor kind of like kept regenerating all the dying cells from aging. So maybe, but I, I think in terms of evolution or like evolving or whatever, I think it would be nullified, and he'd just still just be Wolverine. 1,000, 10,000, 100,000 years from now, if you were still to live. Game theory. <laughs> Wolverine, a snail in disguise. Let's look at the facts. You wake up one morning and you hear, hey, bub. Yo, okay, so new hypothetical. The snail has Wolverine powers. He could just, he, could, he has little claws. All of a sudden, he, you just hear, I'm the best at what I do, bud. And what I do oh, ain't nice. Is, is, is very nice. It, does he also have the metal skeleton? Of course. Okay, then well, I can just eat him with a know. magnet. See, because it wasn't part of his powers originally. That was put in after he got his powers. Was it? No, he yeah. started off with the adamantium skeleton. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. No, it was originally bone claws, and then a, ma- a random man was like, "Hey, I like your powers. Let's make you even stronger." And then he did some weird science shit, and now his boom, bada boom, bada bitch, his skeleton is oh, now metal. I, mean, I, I thought you were talking about in his debut in comic books. No, 
No, in his debut, he already had. But also, but it's also in his origin story, though. Well, in his origin story, yeah. But when we first meet him, though, he has the adamantium skeleton already. Okay, bruh, 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 bruh. 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 Okay, what if the snail visited? I did a thing and participated in his video where he made a bunch of fucking metal shells for hermit crabs. I don't get uh, it. That'd what? be pretty based. Do you know the YouTuber I did a thing? No. No. He made a bunch of metal shells for hermit crabs and they all had Nazi designs. I just want to see what would happen if the snail had a Nazi shell. Well, hold on. I'm getting a Nazi shell soon. Uh-huh. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to see you uh, wear it. I, should my eye patch have a, a, a swastika on it? No. No. Yes. Okay, uh, uh, hypothetical. All if right. there was, all right. So, say the snail was just snailing along, trying to get to you, right? And he just, and there's someone who just goes, "Ugh, a snail!" and fucking like deliberately tries to squash it. Would the snail retaliate in any way? Like, what if someone was uh, trying to hurt the snail actively? Not that it's they immortal. knew anything. It would just keep going. Snail. But like, all right. So, what if it freaked the guy out and he just invites all his friends to stop, stop on the snail? Now they're uh, deliberately assaulting it. Well, Wouldn't I think, he be able yeah, to? Yeah, but it's immortal. Itself? Well, hold on. It can only kill you. So, how would it even retaliate? I don't know. Maybe he just screams "rules of nature" and fucking like does the oh Wolverine claws. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it has a fucking like unmanned drone, like fucking flying uh, up ahead. Person drone. Is it gonna drone strike my house, Obama? Is the snail Obama? The, the snail <gasps> is Obama. Yes. Please, that would be awesome. Because then I'd finally be able to get my revenge. My fellow Americans, I am a snail. I'm okay. gonna drone strike this guy. A little bit like. What the fuck was that? <laughs> that was Obama beats beatboxing. Well, Could a little bit of. Mm, 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 mm. Did it sound like that? Yeah, it, so, it just sounded like you were kissing your microphone. Like... Maybe I am. <laughs> no, Obama, you're doing it wrong. You got to do it like this. Oh god, like, what if Trump did show up in the room and just fucking drop like some serious ass fucking bars and just happened. fucking like left? Yeah, it happened. He said, Obama. You're doing it wrong. You do it <laughs> Wait, like what this. if Trump is rich because of the immortal snail dilemma and Obama is the snail? Yo. Yo. And then he would have killed, he oh, wow. killed him at shit. the White House because like, he opened the door for him and Ivanka. Well, he's not the snail. They, they were taking turns. Obama's the snail now. Have you seen Obama around lately? Uh, Demi, yeah. you're, you're my, uh, your mic's doing that old classic thing. Okay, okay. This, okay, okay this, time, this time I literally adjusted it. Okay, so... Okay, so, um, the Chaos Emeralds. What if the snail got the Chaos Emeralds? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You mean the Chaos Emeralds? <laughs> I mean, like, how, how would the snail get the Chaos Emeralds, though? <laughs> it just happened across them. Like, Knuckles fell asleep and was like, oh, it's just a snail. It won't do anything too bad. But, you know, that was to his detriment. Yeah, it turns into a super snail and then it could fly. Yeah, what if the snail could obtain the ability to join the fight with on the side of the billion lions. Oh my, oh my fucking, fucking god. god. We're really bringing Jimmy, that your up. mic is okay. fucked up. Your mic is still fucked up. No, it's not. It's not true. Yes, it is. No, nah, bro, that, that's literally not true. It's not happening. I mean, your mic is all kinds of fucked. Do, what's the problem? Is it wobbling? Yeah. Your quality is fucked up, and there's like a little whistle. It's like what what used to happen, like last year. Oh wait, wait. So it wasn't wobbling when you said that old thing. That's what you were talking about. Yeah, I was talking about like when your quality fucks up, like it used to do all oh, the time. Okay, okay, I fixed it. Don't worry. You didn't fix it. It's still yes, bad. Yes, I did. No, I fixed it. It's fine. That Demi? is so obvious. Rolling. Oh, this is a bit. Okay, this is a bit she's doing. I, I have so no what idea if, what you're talking. So oh, what if bro. the snail <laughs> helped the one billion lions? 
Okay, what's the one billion lion lion scenario? No, the the one billion lion scenario is who would win between <laughs> one of each Pokemon and one billion lions, and I'm Jason is wrong yeah. about it. Yeah, because they're like, all right, so Mewtwo fucking exists, right? So he just fucking knew. But he he just, run out of PP. He Thanos snaps the fucking one billion lions away. He, Boom, run, out of, he run out of PP. He couldn't get them all. Yeah. Well, yeah, but it's fucking you too. He can control the weather. Surely one billion lions wouldn't even be a problem. This is the equivalent of when you say someone is stronger than Goku. It's fucking Kyogre, who's like the god of oceans, who can use surf, who hits all of your opponents at once. Wait, so who who thinks the lions could win? Who Who's the person? Jason. Jason? Me. Yeah. They'd win. Yeah, no, they I, 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 I a saw billion a tweet. lions would definitely win. Okay, I saw a tweet win. recently about grizzly this. Bears or every Five Nights at Freddy's animatronic? I'm siding with the animatronic. <laughs> oh, Christ. yeah, probably the Five Nights at Freddy's animatronics. Yeah, <laughs> they got Freddy Fazbear <laughs> on their side. Well, aren't they? Aren't they immortal? No, well, I mean, yeah, but also like they're all possessed by spirits. So if you just unpossess them, then they're just a bunch of robots. Except for like a, a scant few, you know, like Springtrap is just dead ass a person, right? So, anyways, I think if the snail joined the side of the grizzly bears, personally, in my humble little onion, Freddy would still win. Freddy would still win, <laughs> but that's just me. All right, I think we're just like talking in circles and talking in memes at this point. I think no. we talk about why setting up uh, motion controls on Dolphin is so fucking stupid. All right, oh, and with that, mean, that's oh, the no, end of the on. issue. Crew. No, 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 no. What do you mean by motion controls? Like motion controls for Wii on like a normal ass computer, or like on a normal ass computer? Just with, I'm using an that. Xbox controller, and I'm trying to get motion controls to work. What? Are just you trying to use like the right gyroscope on the fucking Xbox controller? Or are you just trying to map it to buttons? Xbox controllers. I'm trying don't to map it to that. buttons. Yeah, that's easy. I've done that. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. Yeah. No, I'm mapping it to it. buttons, but it's way too sensitive. Okay, right click the uh, like, instead of left clicking to set the button, right click it, and you can set the sensitivity. Oh, you can't. Yes, you can. Holy shit! You can you can <laughs> you can set the sensitivity. <laughs> well, there you go, folks. Amateur doesn't even know how to dolphin properly. All right, gamers, thank you for listening. Let's go around, see, yeah. what, talk about where you could find us on the internet. Uh, Random Candor, where can they find you? You can find me at uh, on Twitter with at R-A-N-D-U-M-K-A-N-D-O-R, third account. Please don't block. Please no bully. Thank you very much for listening. Yeah, I didn't know you were back on Twitter. I got to follow that account. Uh, Mo, where can they find you? Uh oh, 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 there we go. Uh, everyone can find me at twitter.com forward slash Antifa the Hut. Fucking Mo Side Gaming Reborn again. I got pin tweeted all my bullshit on there. Go check it out. Link tree, yada, yada, yada. All right, what about you, Jason? So you can find me at, at Random's Twitter, harassing him, bullying him. Uh, but you can also find me at youtube.com forward slash J E L E E O O. That's two E's and two O's. I know. Crazy to think about. It's the greatest experience of your life because I only make banger videos. Uh, and also. <coughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, Demi Gloom. Uh, listen. I always start my plugs with listen, okay? Listen. Uh, l- listen to Middle School GSA. It's available on... It's a it's a podcast, LGBTQ+, plus, uh, political, leftist, cool podcast uh, by me and my good friend Felonius Ferris. You can find it on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Anchor.fm if you're a fucking psycho, and uh, YouTube. So just look up Middle School GSA. I have a question. Um, yeah. What if I don't want to listen to it? Oh, <laughs> then the snail will fucking catch up to you. Hey, can I plug my thing? Oh, shit. Sir, Kathy, what's your thing you want to plug? You can find me on the podcast Hitler, The Real Truth. <laughs> oh, dear God. Isn't what that is the Hitler, name of the, the Real Truth? 
<laughs> it was actually. Oh no, that was that was the that was the greatest story never told. Was the movie? Can I plug my thing? You, you already plugged your thing, but what the, what's the what's the bit here? Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, never mind. You ruined it. You ruined it. Oh, what was the bit? Uh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Uh, Andrew, where can they find you? Twitter.com backslash NGEL from Hell Zero, and then everything else is in the pinned tweet. Wait, backslash? I don't fucking know. I'm tired. I want to go slash? to bed. I don't fucking... <laughs> yeah. You're making him seethe. You're making him seethe. He's, he's... You're making me die. I don't want to die. I don't want to live, but I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Remember to subscribe to Jelly You on YouTube or else the immortal snail will come for you and come on exactly. you. Exactly. I've been Adele. Alright, everybody. Go to anchor.fm slash Riley Megafeed or the Riley Podcast Megafeed on your platform of choice. There you can find the Power vs. Juice Bar Power Rangers podcast and in the links to the description of that feed is everything else I do, all of my other main podcasts, all of my social media, my YouTube channel, my Twitch channel, everything. It's got all of it. It's got all the things. Remember so, to watch Toy Story 3 in theaters today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In theaters that's, now. That's the most important thing. Wait, hold on. Wait, there's a Toy Story 3? <laughs> yeah. Buddy, wait. No. I'll tell you some more information. <laughs> Boy, it's your lucky day. <laughs> there's actually <laughs> four. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, at least it's not fucking Avatar The Way of Water. Well, that that's just the second you know, film. No, honestly, I didn't like Toy Story 3, but it is way better than Avatar The Way of Water. You haven't even watched because, it. Because anything is... If I have to wait 15 years, they better be the second coming of Christ. I like Avatar The Last Airbender. That's a, no, that's good. That's a bad movie. Yeah, that's a fucking not terrible. Not the Shyamalan movie. version. <laughs> not the we're talking, like, we're talking the the fucking anime. The anime kind of sucks. Also, it's not a fucking oh, anime. Yeah, it's not yeah, a it's an anime. anime. Oh, it's not an anime. Oh, anime. People who actually care about the difference is like literally bitchless people. I don't care. About hey, I'm not bitchless. The Boondocks, the boondocks oh. is an anime. There's only one reason the Boondocks isn't an anime, and it's because of racism. It's because of no, racist it has, people like me. It has, it has a Japanese dub, though. Okay, to be fair... There's the a Boondocks Japanese dub of the Lego Batman movie. Does that make it an anime? <laughs> 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 and I know you're going to just chat, yes. The Boondocks does have a better... Like, <laughs> way better fight scenes than it has any right to have. That's so true. That is true. Thank you for listening to the issue crew. I've been Riley. No, keep this rolling. No, oh, shut up. I've been Roller, 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 Roller. I've been Riley. I've been. I've been setting people on fire in Bioshock. I've been Random Candor. <laughs> I've also I've been, been Random Randor. Randor. I've been uh, Dumb Candor Rando. My All brain right. is literally Rando? melting out of my ears. Good goodbye, everybody. Wow. <laughs>